Hello. In this video, we're going to just take the program we made in our last video, and we're going to kind of fix that problem with the quotient. And I hope what you noticed the problem was, is that if I look in this, I'll run this input again. The last one I ran was, my name's Paul, 1 and 2. We know that num1 divided by num2 should be 0 0.5, but I get 0, which is kind of weird. So if you do a, a few more tests, you'll start to notice a bit of a pattern. So Paul, give me a number. Let's do 11 and 2, which should be 5.5, but I get 5. Let's do one more test and see if you can identify the pattern. Paul, and my numbers are going to be, um, let's say, 10 and 3. And I get 3. So what's happening is that when it actually goes and divides num1 and num2, it's chopping off all the decimals. And that's because it's performing an operation called integer division. So here's the thing. Python is a weakly typed language. There are two, two classifications. We have a weakly typed language and a strongly typed language. And there's no definitive definition of these. There's kind of loose definitions that are discussed. But here it is essentially. In a strongly typed language, like Java, for example, if I want to actually take an input, I have to tell the computer what type of variable it's going to be. So if it's going to be a word, I have to tell it that variable is going to hold a word, or what we call we call a word a string. If it's an integer, we will call it an int. If it's a if it's a, a decimal number, I have to call it a double. Well, with a weakly type language, you don't have to do that. Python will try and figure out what it is for you, which is great for some people think when you're uh, quickly trying to do something, but it also presents some problems because it's not always going to do it correctly. So when I take these two inputs for num1 and num2, what, what the computer thinks is that they're both integers. And when, when you try and divide two integers in most programming languages, it will look and it will say, okay, I'm going to take one integer and divide it by another integer. So it's going to assume that the result is an integer. And it performs something called integer division. And integer division is when we divide two integers, the result will be an integer. And it doesn't round it. What it simply does is chops off the decimals. So, pardon me, with integer division, we chop off the decimals. So how can we get around that? Well, there's a number of different ways. The way I'm going to show you is, is we're going to actually, we're going to, we're going to introduce a decimal number. And in Python, we call decimals floats. And what I can do is if I take my, my num1 and I actually multiply it by 1.0, that's going to have no actual impact on the result. But what, what the compiler then says is when it sees 1.0, it says, oh, you're a decimal, you're a float. And so it says the result must be a float. So when it does 1.0 times num1, it says, okay, I have a float divided by an integer, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the, the result a float. So now when I run this, I put my name Paul, and I put 1 and 2, I actually get 0 0.5. This is going to be a little bit of a confusing thing initially. And actually, this is one of the reasons why I, I typically don't start with Python as, a, as an introduction language. I actually, I, I like strongly typed languages. But I want to highlight this for you now because I think a good next step would be to make some you know, basic calculator that, say, finds the area and perimeter shapes or whatever. But sometimes you're going to find you'll use division and you're not getting the right answer. And most likely it's going to come from this problem of integer division. I hope this video helped. And in our next video we'll look at some other math things we can do. Have a great day.